What's up everybody? Lion here. And in this YouTube video, I'm going to show you guys three different things. The all new training grounds, this season's Dark Celestial Hunt Pass, and of course, the long awaited Umbral Escalation. So the first thing is the currency for this season is the Void Spikes. You'll run around and collect them like you always do. Next thing we're going to do is head over to Dr. Priani and she's going to tell you guys about the Hunt Pass and some of the journal stories that are going to be in the basic track. All right, now that we're chilling with Dr. Pri, I'm going to go over the basic and elite hunt pass track and show you guys what's up. So of course it's got a wide variety of things, emotes, ace chips, tonics, consumables, uh, transmog stones, vault coins, you name it, it's got it. Uh, the, new, the new thing that's added to this season's hunt pass is lore books. There's three of them, and we're going to go over that just after I show you the track. So I'll just click on these, let you guys see what's good. Transmog stones, vault coins. The first page has so much stuff already. This is my favorite emote right here of the season, hands down. Be spamming that all day. The weapon skins are amazing. Make sure you guys head over to twitch.tv slash lion underscore hdtv and enter in the giveaways. We will be giving away at least 15 of these elite hunt pass tracks this season if you guys can't get your hands on one otherwise that's one of the ways to do so bounty tokens of course probably one of my favorite looking chain blades now right there Lovely little Oonga Boonga. Pokey Pokey. Look at that axe. It's causing an emergency. You hear those sirens? Let's go. So they've added this cool smoke behind flares now too. Hopefully we see more of that. What a great emoji. Helm transmog. You guys feel me on that? Look at that. Warlock what? Strikers looking pretty clean, pretty sharp. So there is the hunt pass track for this season, everyone. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Like I said, we'll be doing giveaways, giving it away like crazy at the beginning of the season, so make sure you tune in for that. And now, of course, uh, like I said, I'm going to show you guys what these journals are all about. As you see, once you get to level 34, you'll have all three journals, and you'll be able to just press J on the keyboard, and it'll take you to your journal screen here. Uh, you'll see there's a lot of visual effects upgrades this patch as well, uh, with the dashing of chain blades, with like the the way molten looks uh some behemoths boop animations have been changed nezaga uh nasher you guys will see it's really crisp everything's really clean uh they really polished up a lot of stuff so as i said the three journals you just click on collections here and you'll have the three journals uh the first one touches on uh pretty much like kind of the layout of umbral escalation and a certain little special find that Priani came across. Um, 
The second one touches on the Shadow Touch behemoths, specifically the Drask, and kind of what they do and what they're about. And the final one touches on Thra uh, Thrax and uh, something called Void Runner technology. So I'm not going to read, uh, turn this video into a whole storybook time session for you guys. But as you guys unlock those journals, uh, you'll see what they're about. Or of course, you can pause the video and read if you'd like. Um, so that's pretty much the hunt pass for this season. Of course, the most effective way to farm up the hunt pass, as usual, is to collect bounties and farm them. Do escalations, do heroic plus patrolling, 25 XP per patrol, uh, and collect the void spikes around town. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little session on the Dark Celestial Hunt Pass. Uh, now what we're going to do is jump on over to Training Island, uh, one of the newest additions into Ramsgate. And I'm going to show you guys how to beat up some dummies and uh, get some stats on builds. Alright everybody, so here we are on the Training Grounds. This is a nice little mini island where you can pretty much get a first look at all the different weapons in Dauntless and you can test them out on some Drask dummies and see what kind of DPS comes out with different combos and so on. So Trainer Rosk here has a mission for you guys, just deal 2.5k damage to the training dummy. We're going to accept that and as you can see there is a weapon overview selection. So you can check out all the different weapons and have a little description of what they do and what their attacks look like. Once you get over here, you can see all the different weapons laid out. So if you don't have the weapon or if you don't have a build already preset, you can just hold E or whatever button it is for you and you can obtain that weapon and then take it over to these Drask dummies and test them out. So for now, it's just uh, a bunch of Drask dummies as you can see. But I think in the future, uh, they're going to plan to put in like an Enraged Dummy, an Aether State Dummy, and an Aether Enraged State Dummy. Um, just so you can test like different stuff like Rage Hunter and Aether Hunter and things like that. And I'm sure they'll have like a Staggerable one and, uh, and all of that as well. So as you can see on the right, it shows all your moves. You can try all the different moves that the weapon you use has. And as you can see, when I'm doing combos and backflips and stuff, you see the damage numbers coming out at the top. And from the uh, menu on the right, you can see which buttons I'm pressing and which combos I'm using. And you can see how much damage you're going to be doing with that stuff. It even has all the different numbers from wounding, stagger part, and base damage. It even calculates the lantern damage too, which is great. So these are just all the different moves you can do with chain blades. And there you go. So this is pretty much the training grounds and this is what you can do on the training grounds. Of course I'm using chain blades to show you, it is my favorite weapon. And like I said, in the future there's probably going to be some upgraded dummies some staggered dummies so you can test out all your different builds to their maximum potential I think it's a great addition to the game it allows uh, new players to take a look at all the different weapons and maybe take a liking or choose one before they even get in a real fight which I think is good um, so yeah expect to see more from the training grounds in the future and I hope you like the first look at it uh, now if you want to get back to Ramsgate all you have to do is go over to the bulletin board Click Ramsgate, and away you go. All right, now that we've covered the training grounds, the last thing to show you guys is the long-awaited Umbral Escalation and good old Thrax. So let's head over to the Umbral Caverns and run an Escalation. Okay, so before we go into the Umbral Escalation, I'm just going to show you guys the new Lantern and the nine new amps that are included in the Umbral Escalation. So the first one is called Exposed Weakness. It adds 200 wound damage to each weapon attack. Now these are fully upgraded, so the numbers that you're seeing are the ones you're going to see once they're fully upgraded. 
Surgical Precision grants a 2% damage buff for the remainder of the run when a wounded part is broken. Gain an additional 2% each break for every player that has Surgical Precision. We have the Upgrade Elemental Forms. So that increases the duration of Elemental Forms for 18 seconds. Alchemist Revival, it refills your flask to 5 and it also gives you your 3 revives back too. Elemental Summoner, dealing 2000 wound damage summons a random stationary elemental to assist you for 30 seconds. Attacks deal additional wound damage per hit. Void Blast, when a short distance from a, a behemoth, occasionally spawn a ball of unstable umbral energy that can be launched in a cone of projectiles that do 300 damage each. Bonds of Corruption. For each Enraged Behemoth, gain 30% bonus part damage, and for each Aether Charge Behemoth, gain 50% bonus Lantern Charge from attacks. We then have Shadow Dodge. Dealing damage accumulates charges of Shadow Dodge. Dodging through an attack expends a charge, causing an Umbral Explosion that can interrupt Behemoths. And finally we have Void Mantle, which is kind of like Thundering Mantle. Sprinting costs no stamina and builds Umbral Charge, and at max stats, your next attack within 3 seconds deals 1000 bonus damage. Now this Umbral form here, uh, this Elemental forms refers to the Umbral form that you can enter uh, during the Escalation um, with one of the other amps. So when you do your Lantern Hold, you, you'll enter the Umbral form and you do increased damage. So this increases that duration. To 18 seconds instead of like I think it's 12 or 14 and then finally of course we have all of the different rewards and power boosts that you get um, as you're doing the umbral escalation a as usual it gives you increased damage and less damage taken and then finally you get the umbral escalation cosmetic set which you'll see when I run the umbral escalation and I'll show you real quick the the banner right now this is also uh, part of a pack that you can buy in the store this season, the, uh, the Star Aether Strikers and the Star Lantern. And of course you get the helmet here too with the, with the wing ears. So this is the Thrax Banner, Sigil, and Flag. And those are the new amps and the Umbral Lantern for the Escalation. So now that we've seen all that, I'll take you guys over to a run and show you guys the three Shadow Touch Behemoths and the layout for the Escalation as well as the Thrax Encounter. Okay, everyone, this is the Umbral Escalation. Now, I'm not going to do a straight run through. What I'm going to do is try and encounter the three Shadow Touch Behemoths on their own so I can show them to you. And then I'm going to show you guys the Thrax Encounter. So the first one we're going to be looking at here is the Shadow Touched Koshai. As you can see here, we have the brand new Chain Blades equipped and the entire Thrax suit on as well. Uh, you'll see in the top right corner the information on the new legendary weapons and what they can do. So this is the Shadow Touch Koshai here. Amazing work done. The, the visual work and the, the changes on him are really good. You don't have to jump to boop him as you can see. You can just kind of straight boop him. He does a lot of unique moves, uh, kind of like Wrist Stalker, uh, where he'll do like a dolphin dive thing, uh, that delayed 360 tail whip. You guys will see. Just enjoy that and hunt. Oh, we got a part break there on the, on the dolphin dive. Also, if you guys are curious as to the build I'm using or the builds that I would use in the escalation, you can just check the description below in the video and they will be there. So there's the Koshai, Shadow Touched, defeated. Uh, I'm just gonna advance on through the cave here to show you guys the layout. They put a lot of work into the design of this escalation. Uh, I think it's it's great what they did. Um, there's a lot of art, a lot of visual effects, uh, a lot of changes this patch, like I was saying earlier in the video. So here it seems like we're we're like delving deeper into the cave instead of just going like across an island. We're we're going into a cavern this time. So we have Shadow Touch, Nezaga, and Skarn. 
this time. Let's pop some tons and get in there. So there's a few differences. Uh, you can actually interrupt Nezaga now when he slides towards you. And the Shadow Touch Nezaga does a lot of different attacks, very similar to kind of like Wrist Stalker again. He'll send like a shadow of himself at you as an attack. And he does an animation where he keeps swimming at you for quite a while, pretty much until you boop him. Uh, there's some more ground and pound raging there. Very different than a regular Nene. Alright, he's in his portal now. So he'll send, see, you can boop him there. But now he'll send out his shadow clone. We gotta avoid that. And I'll go for the boop now. If you hit him straight on with the boop, uh, most of the time it'll be a trade, I find. So I try to get the boop uh, from an angle. Like that. So really cool. You can boop Nene now. The animation on it is clean. It's crisp. Great job on that. Also, if you guys have been wondering, the eerie music that you've been hearing play throughout this entire video is uh, the Thrax music. So I hope you guys are liking that. It's always good to hear some new stuff, some new tunes in the Dauntless universe. Let's get rid of this dirty Skarn real quick. Pangar Lantern is very effective in, in every escalation. It's just all around is, is a really good lantern. Keeps you keeps you fresh with stamina and does AoE damage all over the place. Especially if you're fighting two behemoths at once. So there we go. There's one of the new amps right there. The Elemental Summoner. Pick that up. Deeper into the depths of the Umbral Caves. It's a regular Nay Nay. Okay, so we just defeated the Quill Shot on round three, which I'm sure none of you really wanted to see. And I do have one of the wound amps, so I'm going to get the exposed weakness here. We have Shadow Touch Drask and Rage Tail Nasher for our round 4 fight. So I'll let you guys see that. Making our way to the deepest parts of the Umbral Caverns now. Do not eat these plants. They're not edible. They're not smokable. Trust me, just don't do it. Alright. So this is the Shadow Touch Drask. He has a lot of different animations than the regular Drask. He does double tail whips. He does a crazy umbral beam that sucks you in. Uh, right here. Uh, all sorts of crazy things. As you can see, this uh, battle can get quite intense. There's the new uh, Nasher boop animation. As you can see, he kind of like flops to the side now. Nizaga and Nasher have like the same boop animations now, pretty much. 
Ooh, that's getting spicy. Oh, that's spicy. Asher's a bully. Yeah, see, he shoots the umbral orbs instead of an electric beam. I'm going to pop a second set of tonics for these boys. To stay out of the way of that umbral cannon. Oh, Drask is mad. He's almost dead. Oh, okay. I can't see the Nasher waves. There we go. Big boy lost his tail. All right. Rest in peace, Shadow Touch Drask. So the, that's the Shadow Touch Koshai, the Shadow Touch Nezaga, and the Shadow Touch Drask. The three new additions to the Umbral Escalation. As well as some pesky little counterparts here. That we'll take care of. Now all that's left is the good old Thrax encounter. All right, we got the Void Mantle. So there we go. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna attempt to beat him without without any pots and one needle and one set of tonics. Hopefully, I can do it. Wish me luck, my dudes. Let's go. So this is probably the most unpredictable most mayhem fight that you'll ever get in Dauntless to date. I can't really pinpoint what behemoth he's similar to, but those attacks right there are kind of like quill shot attacks. His interrupt animation right there is brand new in the game. I've never really seen that before. He kind of moves in like a U shape. That's his enrage. Oof. I didn't dodge soon enough there. Let's sip some aether here. I have no pots. Don't want to waste my needle. Now when he goes into his aether state and he's enraged, he'll do his crazy move. Oh, almost got the interrupt there. You guys will see it though. It's going to happen shortly. 
Here it comes. Oh, nope, this is the one where he grabs me and eats me. So this doesn't do a lot of damage to you. It just, I don't, it kind of like... Just wastes time, I guess. Uh oh, I need to sip some aether, lads. This escalation got spicy. And there's my needle. This is actually a really good run to show you guys. It's long, it shows you guys almost all of his animations. And there it is, lads. Rest in peace, Thrax. Newest addition to Dauntless. As you guys can see, his moves, like I said, they're crazy unpredictable. Um, it's really hard to get used to the hunt, get used to the fight. But I hope you guys enjoyed the encounter and the Umbral Escalation run. Thanks for checking out this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Leave any questions in the comments below, and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Just want to give a big shout out to our editor, Devatron. You can find all of the links to his content in the description. And last but not least, make sure you guys head over to Twitch and check out Lion underscore HDTV. We're live every week, usually five days. Uh, we'll be doing giveaways for elite hunt passes, flares, all sorts of different things. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.